horse jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Kitty Code Ninja tutorial. This is Ellie, and this is your place to learn to code and have fun. In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can create a flying Santa. Let's dive in. Flying Santa. Let's go to scratch.mit.edu and then when the page was loaded, we click on the create. From here, we're going to see how we can create a flying Santa. In order to do that, we need several sprites. We need a flying Santa, we need a sky backdrop, and we need some elements that show a city. So let's delete this cat. For the backdrop, let's just choose the simple blue sky. So I click on the search and then blue sky. Uh, on, the, on the sprite, I want to make it look like that the Santa is flying on top of a city. So I choose the buildings. The nice thing about this building is it has several customs which are really different, like different buildings. So this is a good one. And then I need a cloud. We can have multiple, but for now I just use one because it shows what I want to do. But then later on you can add more. Then I need a sprite, which is a flying Santa. So I go to Google image image.google.com and then I search for flying Santa PNG so that the background is uh, transparent then I choose this one that doesn't have the background background because it's like pixely and then I download this uh, so I download so I save it somewhere I name it flying Santa and then I save I go back to my scratch, I click here and then I click on the upload sprite. Now my flying Santa is here. I import it. So I have this beautiful flying Santa here. Now the trick is instead of, when I want to make it look like that this Santa is flying instead I move the other elements on my page it still looks like this one is flying like when you are in the train and you're looking at the view or on a road trip and you think that everything is moving but you are moving actually so when I click the start this Santa should be visible so I would say when start clicked show I also wanted to say Merry Christmas so from the looks I take maybe for two seconds only say Merry Christmas so is shown and it says Merry Christmas so good enough for now and then flying sensation so I do that by 
moving the building. So I move the building and it will look like that the Santa is moving. So I want to start by having the building at the very right corner of the page. So I would say when start clicked, I set the initial position as set X to 250, which is the corner. So if you look at this number, when I move this, 250 is almost here. So I start by 250 and then I want to take I want to take small steps towards the left. So I would say I'm repeating my steps. So I say forever repeat let's say 100 times and then taking steps by changing x by minus 5. So minus because I'm moving towards the left. So 5 multiply 100 is 500, which is the width of this, this thing. Now, if I click start, that's what happens. It kind of gives the illusion that this Santa is moving. Not quite yet, though. I'm going to enhance the scene by making some more stuff here so that it really would look like that the Santa is moving. So, all right, let's also give our project a name from here, which is Flying Santa. And then let's write a code for the Santa to be able to interact with it. I click on the flying Santa and then I want to be able to interact with the Santa by pressing my right, left, up and down arrows to control it. So I would go to events and then when I drag this block of code. I drag it four times or one time and control C four times paste three more times paste totally four and then I would say when right are up arrow clicked and when down arrow clicked and when right arrow and when left arrow clicked for this these four actions i want to write a movement so for right arrow i would say change x by 10 for left arrow change x by minus 10 for up arrow change y by 10 and for down arrow change y by minus 10 by the way i changed my santa to a new one behind the scene um play start i test it again so i go right up down left and everything is working very well Okay, now it's time to animate this cloud as well. In order to do that, I click on the cloud. So I get to the code page of the cloud. So um, I start by forever. I want a repetitive action. And first I set the position. So I would set uh, y from motions I set y to a random position which is gonna be from the operator I take pick random so I pick a random position 
I want the cloud to stay at the top half of the screen. So above this line. So I would say a random position between 1 to 180. So anything. OK, so set Y to this number and set X to I will set it to 250 because I want to start from the right of the screen. So the Y is somewhere random here, but the X starts from here. Now I'm going to repeatedly move the, move the cloud. So I would say repeat, repeat. I would take 50 steps and each step I move X by 10 towards the left. So minus 10, which means 10 multiply 500, which is the width of the screen. So I can start. I, place uh, I didn't write when start clicked so i add the when start click so i test it i play start and you see the cloud is moving the santa is moving by my arrow key pressed it's pretty much looks like the santa is flying on top of a city something is missing santa without a gift is not a santa so let's add a gift as well so from the sprites I search for gift. I want the Santa to drop gifts. So I insert the gift. Is dropping the gift is similar to the way that we created snowfall effect in the last video. So I start by clicking on the gift. I go to the code and then I say when start clicked. I want it to go with the Santa, so I say go to Santa and at the same time I want it to be hidden. Okay, now it's hidden with the Santa. Then I would say when I start as a clone, when I start as a clone, uh, I want to be first make sure I'm hidden. So initially hide it, still go to Santa because that's the starting point. So I, I again repeat it here, go to Santa and then go to the next costume because I want to try different colors of the uh, gift box. And now I want it to be shown. So after it appeared, we need to drop it down. So I drop it by the repetitive movements, like repetitive actions of coming down. So I would say repeat until, and then from the sensing, I would say touching edge. So it comes down until it reaches the edge. How to come down? By changing y by a negative number so one thing is missing which is we haven't created a clone yet so i go to the backdrop and i add this code of when start clicked Let's say I want the Santa to have 50 boxes of gift for 50 kids. I would say 
repeat 50 50 clones create clone of myself from the uh, not myself create clone of the gift and the wait in between to give it some time wait one second so now let's play test it i play start Santa is moving, I can move it and I can drop the gifts for children. Such a cool Christmas. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so that you won't miss the next tutorial. See you next week. Bye.